In this tutorial, we explore filling out an Acroform PDF using Dynamic PDF Core Suite. An Acroform, short for Acrobat Form, is a PDF with form fields that allows filling the values with field values. Dynamic PDF Core Suite supports filling out Acroforms programmatically. Here in this tutorial, we're going to write code that fills out an Acroform. The form we will fill out is the IRS Application for Taxpayer Identification Number. Let's create the application. Open Visual Studio. Create a new project named Form Fill Example. Create. Add the dynamic PDF core suite.net NuGet package. Manage NuGet packages. Browse. Select cete.dynamicpdf.coresuite.net. Install. OK. Accept. Remove the console.writeLine statement and add the merger using statement. using cete.dynamicpdf.merger Create a new merge document instance and in the constructor add the path to the tax form PDF. document equals new merge document Oh, and I placed fw 9 acroform underscore 18pdf tax form in a top-level folder named form-fill-example. Now, we must add the form fields and fill them with values programmatically. Before continuing, let's stop and look at the IRS tax form PDF. Adobe Acrobat users can fill in a form's values and then save the document. The result is a PDF document containing the form's filled out values. For example, here I'm filling out the name, company name, classification, and address values of the request for taxpayer identification number. Of course, here in this tutorial, we're going to fill these values out programmatically. The values we are interested in are the name, business name, federal tax classification status, address, and city, state, and zip. Now, we don't have access to the field names, as you can see. We just have the fields. If we had software such as Adobe Acrobat Pro, then we could obtain the field names and use them in our tutorial. However, let's assume we do not have access to this software or other software that accesses the field names. But we can use Dynamic PDF to get the form field names. The following is example code that examines a PDF's form fields and prints the names to a table. Although I do not explain this code, you can access it in the GitHub project provided at the end of this tutorial. Let's run the application. Let's open the PDF. And as you can see, we have a PDF containing the form field names of the fields we are interested in. The first two form fields we are interested in are the name and business name. As you can see, the form field's names are not very intuitive and specify the PDF's hierarchy. The next form field is the federal classification field. Then we have the two address fields. After obtaining the field names for the fields we're interested in, we can now use those names within our application. So let's return to the application. Add the first address field to the document's form objects fields collection and set the value to John Doe.
value equals John Doe. Add the second name field to the documents form objects field collection and set the name to any company incorporated. Value equals any company inc. Add the federal classification field to the form and set the value to 1. This, in effect, indicates the field is checked. Value equals 1. Add the address field and set the value to 123 main. Value equals 123 Main Street. Then add the city, state, and zip field and set the values to Washington, D.C. 22222. Value equals Washington, D.C. 22222. Add the draw method containing the output PDF and add it to the document instance. Run the application. Open the output PDF and note that the form fields we specified are filled out with the values we provided. So as this example illustrates, it's straightforward to fill out a PDF form using Dynamic PDF. Dynamic PDF Core Suite for .NET combines merging, generating, and report writing functionality into one convenient application. Dynamic PDF Core Suite contains over 80 unique page elements for creating PDF documents. Filling out a pre-existing form with a form's values is just one of the many features offered by Dynamic PDF Core Suite. Refer to our online documentation for more information. You can download this tutorial's completed project from GitHub. You can also get support from our support website. There you will find forums, user manuals, examples, or you can email us. With over 80 unique page elements, you can create very rich PDFs using Dynamic PDF Core Suite. With so much functionality, why not try Dynamic PDF Core Suite today? I'm James, reminding you, when you think PDF, think Dynamic PDF. See you next time.